Hi, this is my expedited Tartarus expunge run, uh, which is one of the, I think it's the week six triumphs, it's one of the triumphs in the week that I'm currently playing anyway. Um, as you can see I'm doing a Titan with Wither Horde, and although there's not a lot of combat in this, Snowy Hunger, there's some Void Shields, Code UL04, the boss damage, Breach and Clear, which is pretty much mandatory this season, Lion Rampants, just because they make jumping easier, and Rocket Launcher Reserves and Finders for Rocket Launcher and Grenade Launcher in here. Although, as I say, there's there's not any huge amounts of fighting, so it's only the last area, the boss area, that we'll be actually doing any combat in. So off we go to the Tartarus mission. You will need to have the splicer glove fully unlocked in the left column. I think it's the wire walker perk that you will need to have unlocked so that you've got all of the um, all of the shortcuts available to you. I think that's absolutely essential. I think it's actually I don't think you're able to get the expedited done unless you've done that because you that without the shortcuts you'd be caught up in the early part of the this first section and then a few compact sections which would all hold you up longer than I think it's seven minutes you've got to get this done so go in and then hit this first switch to open up the shortcut in this first section this cuts probably about a minute off I think It's around here that I think probably using Middle Tree Arc Titan would be a better call here because you'd be able to use the little mini slam to get from top to bottom here really quickly. But as it is, just do the normal sliding and jumping round sections. Little jump over here, drop down to the ledge on the left. And then, because I've been pushed over more times than I care to remember, I pause here until they come and then disappear. And then I sprint over to the ledge on the right, um, looking for the timing. So I'm looking if it's closed here, then it will be open again uh, and it will stay open long enough you'll be able to get through without being knocked back. You can recover if you get knocked back, but it'll obviously cost you a few seconds. So we drop through into... The Tartarus, I don't know whether it's a dungeon or not, but Tartarus area. You can jump over that first section before it spawns in, and then you're running through to the gravity cannons. Again, that allows you to miss out one section which might hold you up the initial firewall here. I tend to walk over the, the gravity cannons. I find if I land alongside them or land on them, they can cause damage or even kill me. So I'm going to run through here to get these cubes. I'm using an auto rifle, so I'm not going to do that from too long a range. Uh, I get rid of, I think it's just opportunity, I get rid of two of them here, but you can actually see all three cubes. If you drop down to this area here, if you drop down here, you can see all three cubes without having to move. So I think that's probably faster. Run through to the next conflux. And then while the buff is charging, I just shoot this first cube. And then if you just jump to this platform just here on the left, you can see the remaining four cubes. You can see the number that I need to get up on the wall there. So you shoot them probably more accurately than I do, hopefully. And then this shortcut after you get the last one is this little tunnel on the left which is quite easy to overlook but that allows you to bypass a combat section involving a barrier champion you can see on the radar to the right here that can hold you up so this bypasses that entirely and I'm just waiting by the complex again for the buff to build and I'm going to ignore the ads here just shoot the cube get it down Ignore the barrier champion, they will all despawn once you hit the final conflux for the boss fight. So you're 
in the boss area. You can walk out of this detain bubble without it damaging you. And then he does move up, so be aware of that if you're just trying to get the breaching clear on him. Advantage of the Wither Horde is it goes through the shield, so you can get the breaching clear on him. That's my code Duello. That should take him into the initial uh, shielded phase. It's all gated. I realise that I haven't got the buff to get rid of the, the cubes that get rid of the shield. So I'm coming back here just to get it charged. Jump back. Get rid of the two cubes either side. You can do that from roughly the same location here. Uh, if you had middle tree... Yeah, you probably could. Middle tree, arc, titan, you probably could two-phase in there. But anyway, I put the Wither Horde in the wrong place there. It's actually the opposite corner. There's a Minotaur that spawns that you need to kill to get rid of the shield for the second time. So wait here for the buff. Go get the Minotaur. Get rid of the, sh the first cube there. Run back, get the buff. You might be able to do it in one go if you're really fast by standing and getting the Minotaur on the other side. Yeah, the Minotaur shows his face here. Don't get him down in one. But you can, you know, once you've got the Minotaur down, you can get rid of the final cube. Final boss damage. Breach and clear. Code ULO, lasting impressions, and done. So as you can see, even though I made quite a few mistakes there, there's a few little errors particularly in the last room, very doable, uh, proving that yeah, a flawless run is not necessarily a perfect run, but I think you could probably do this, I don't think the, the jumping really matters that much, you could probably do this on pretty much any class. I hope you find that useful, and good luck with your own runs. Then we should focus our efforts on finding the central Vex mind guiding them. Osiris. How is that coming along? Slowly. Lakshmi and Mithrax's splicers are diligently working with data the Guardian has recovered. But the Vex mind at the source of the Endless Night remains elusive. We need to move quickly. The simulation is draining the city's energy. I won't stand by and watch our lightless civilians continue to suffer. Ikora, I don't intend to let that happen. We will work harder. We will find a way. The lights provide.